Dude, this episode was so much fun. Dude, best <laughs> filler episode I have experienced. I actually more than I just, I just, oh, this is not filler. Yeah, this I is in the manga. Out. It is not filler. Okay, I couldn't call it filler, <laughs> but the fact that, you know, they're not, playing not, a baseball not game. Not filler as in Naruto. <laughs> it's filler. We, it's we talked filler. It was in the manga. It was in the manga. Yeah, when you say filler, it's not It's not like Naruto. It's like just... Yeah, I guess I should have clarified. It's, yeah. yeah it's like not fighting doesn't mean that it's filler, you guys. Jesus. Taylor, what are they doing, Taylor? Playing <laughs> baseball. That's right. Hey, but it's still it's still technically in the turn like in the tournament arc in a way because they're still because uh, it's still going on. It's just in yeah. a baseball in the form of a baseball game. Sure. You did not come out of watching this episode of them playing baseball and you didn't feel warm in your heart and you didn't laugh. Then I don't know what to, I don't know I how mean, to no, help it you. Was, it was, feels good. <laughs> we we just say filler as in like it didn't really my my catchphrase. It didn't really matter. So, I just heard filler right. said negatively so many times with stuff like mm. Naruto and Boruto and all that kind of stuff that yeah. I'm feeling defensive. <laughs> no, to fair to David's one, I should have clarified better of filler because that wasn't what I had intentions for. <laughs> it was an instance of we, and this it didn't is, progress we, the story, we, but in terms of the characters and the comedy that it brings, like ten out of ten. Yeah, like I was so dying good. the whole episode. It was so good. <laughs> no, but back back to Justin. Like, yeah, when I, when we say filler here, we mean like as in break from action. Not like oh. okay. See, my filler is basically something. Not but canon, we have to clarify because so, those yeah. mean different different people. So that's what me and okay. Justin mean. I, I will keep yeah. that in mind next time. I apologize for my uh, terribleness. Not at all. So yeah. all right. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's still enjoyable regardless. So I mean, it's just so fitting to all of the characters. Still, you know, we have Gojo, who the troll OP character that he is. He's the one that snuck the baseball event into the box, you know. And both the principals are like, "What the hell? Like, how did baseball get in there? Like, oh. we wanted one one on one fight Dude, to the death." I was gonna say too, mm -hmm. um, the the guy who made like the panda like corpse puppet. I I had no idea he was here this whole time. I I, I thought he. I didn't know if he got introduced him earlier or whatever. I just didn't pay attention or something. But like, that's like the first thing I noticed. Like, I didn't realize he was still like part of jujitsu like hi whatever oh really yeah yeah, I, yeah. I, I, this is like the first time i noticed it so I was the just... the principal the guy with the the glasses who oh, you know when principal. uji first okay yeah i didn't make that connection yeah that's the principal i didn't realize the principal's awesome i didn't make that connection that the principal was the same guy who made panda as a corpse puppet oh that yeah was, yeah, yeah. Like same guy same yeah. guy yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's my yeah, that's my bad. All good. Dude, my, by far, like the little tidbits that they gave of each character, my favorite was I think Totos, where he was basically where uh, it was a bit with <laughs> they like won Yuji. The nationals, yeah. Yeah, they won the nationals, all this other stuff, and then, he just, then it just says Yuji denies this claim. Yeah, and, uh, that, that was by far my favorite. One of the the little bits. Uh, oh. I don't know if, if if we could get chat to clarify it or or uh, either Taylor. Like, do they have those little bits in the manga? Uh, as far I'm actually gonna go back and look. I can't remember. Like, I'm sorry. Were you talking about like the subtitles? For... Yeah, basically. Yeah. So if like you look in the character. in the anime chat, I put one of the subtitles for uh, when Toto comes up to the plate, yeah. and then under his position, it has the little like, you know, <laughs> funny <laughs> hint of like, yeah, like won the middle school nationals. Was say, it Dory? Uh, I'm gonna Dory says no. I guess yes, because those <laughs> things sounds, it sounds like something you put in a manga panel. So I, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I went back to check. So, but yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I I don't know. I love the comedy in this show. It's, I yeah. it's so good. I feel so bad for Toto though because like he's still all about that 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 brotherly bond that they have. Yeah, he and still he, loves him. Yeah, and then Yuji's like, yo, I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, y Yuji's but, over it now. Now that they're yeah. not fighting a Hanami anymore. Yeah, Yuji's kind of a dick. Like, yeah, I, yeah Toto's becoming my favorite character. <laughs> like he he was just caught up in the high and he just went off it. But you know, after he used Toto. You know, and then he just like I don't know, like yeah, I'm done with you. Get out of yeah. here, dude. They, you know? Yeah, like, this whole that's like a, that's a bitch arc, they gave so much like character development to Toto. So dude, he's I mean, I I love to see it, and I you know I'm sad that we don't have Brian on the on the show here tonight to oh. you know reinforce the love for Toto. But man, I can't help but feel over and over <laughs> as much love as he's getting. He ain't making no, it, man. Never, never. He that, ain't oh, really? Making it. I, I hate to stand that, on my pedestal that, week that after week, so but <laughs> this man's getting too much love. He's too awesome. It'd be the thing that just uh, would be the perfect thing as an author to take away from your, your fan base. <laughs> okay. that's, just, that's just so mean. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I tell you what you're saying. I, but like <sighs> mine, for me, I don't know. I still think like it's 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 uh Godo Gojo that's gonna take that role. Like I just think yeah. it's gonna be the it's um, Gojo or Toto, hundred percent. Those like, are the only we, two. They see every show needs like a Kamiya or like a Jiraiya moment. So I just feel like we're gonna get that yep. here. 
we also found out that Hanami survived, which I think we I think we all thought. I don't, I don't think any of us thought he was actually or she was I actually dead. Was, I I I had a feeling like it could have gone either way with the show. So mm. yeah, for sure, Hanami. I I think okay, yeah. I, I thought like there's no way in hell, and then so we'll have to just you know fight that again again uh, uh, one day. Yeah. But, but again, Jujutsu Kaisen is great of a you know action fighting s- series. It is the the comedy is a one as we yeah, you know, I mean, see like, week after week, and especially with with Mechamaru coming in as a, a damn pitching teacher. machine, yeah. like <laughs> and then uh, no, for I was like so good. she was gonna lose so it good. against my, she was so pissed. Yeah. Yep, I love all these characters too. Like it, it's just like. Oh. Where you actually feel like a connection where you actually care about every single one of them. Like you yeah, don't the, like the, it, the, the previous arc did a good job of uh of um like just giving covering their backstories. Just out. I mean besides yeah. Toto, like everyone got really good character developments during the last yeah. turn oh, yeah. arc. So I mean like, I thought I thought Toto was I mean, decent. I guess, I guess the only uh, one yeah, but, I guess the only one really was just like it was like like the witch girl and like my I guess felt more weak. Like Well, to be fair for Toto, we didn't actually get like the serious backstory, we kinda just got like the ridiculous backstory, so he still has pot armor, Justin. We haven't got it all yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we still haven't seen much about his uh, his sensei yet that we saw the flashback for. So, no, I agree with That's that. True too, yeah. I just think it's one of those things again. Like, at the end of the day, someone's got to die. The you armor's know, falling gotta... slowly. I'm still waiting for my boy <laughs> Megami, though. Like, I, he's still like I'm still interested in like his backstory and why like Sakuna is like so interested in him. And like, I I, I have a, there's like some sort of like power up from happening soon, so I want to see it. Yeah, he's definitely yeah. one of those characters that like very well could have been the main character yeah. at the end of the there's day. Like this, I think it's just something that's there's this weird hidden yeah. factor. Like I need to know. Like it's got me curious. So that's why I'm just really I'd, interested in this character. I'd rather have the author take him instead of Toto. True. Yeah. True. <laughs> um, I think otherwise, in terms of like lore stuff, I know you know, like we said, we had that moment at the beginning where we see uh, Hanami had survived Gojo's purple haze, like Kamehameha attack. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, yeah. And we it, saw that the blonde-haired curse user kind of isn't really aligned with the main curse users of Mahito and um, Volcano Head and yeah, the other guy. He's, he's just a normal way. human. It's really weird how they have here normal humans in this. Like, I guess I mean yeah. I guess the leader is a jujitsu sorcerer too. So it's oh. like, so it's like I guess when you see more backstory, but it's just really weird to like have normal humans interacting with the curse spirits. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't and, understand and, like how what's the connection between could, like. Maybe get group. something later, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, that reminds me too. We saw the one character that had white hair with like the red oh, yeah. spot for like just a brief moment. So I think I missed that. I don't remember. That. It was yeah. I, yeah. I know yeah. It was when they were on the beach, like sitting on the lawn chairs and stuff. Because uh, uh, hmm. the, the was it the blonde hair, the blonde haired guy or the butcher? They were working for the white hair person, right? The, the oh, coat rack, the mm-hmm. coat rack maker. Yeah, the yes. coat rack maker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're, that dude. They're yeah. working with the, the white haired person, right? What a terrible character. <laughs> Fucking Rook. The ro- the coat rat guy. Yes. Hey, man, he knows oh, what he loves and he knows what he wants to do in this life. You got to yeah, respect it. I mean, that's fine, but it's just and, a terrible, and, terrible he, he ain't no snitch, as we learned. Man had all his limbs broken and is just like tied up in that curse room and he ain't saying a word. What he did? He told us that there was that one girl with the white bob. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fair. Somebody stole them out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's I'll, how I'll, we know. I think it's like not that he's not a snitch, it's just that they didn't really. They didn't really tell much. So. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's actually, they otherwise, go, I'll say they didn't, they didn't um, go much into like who could be, what the traitor was in the school. So I guess we'll have to see about that. Right. Yeah. But, For some, uh, go ahead, Koo. But we do have to focus too on the like the big uh, drop of the plot is that uh, they they did it for the special grade curse items. So they have mm-hmm. six of the fingers. Yep. Oh, which, yeah. Uh, which apparently one of the fingers that the school acquired back from them uh, was like uh, tapped or whatever. It had a seal on it, uh, a tracker seal. So when they put it in that special vault, that's how they were able to figure out what that vault was. Mm. Uh, apparently, it's not just about the finger. Mm, There's right, right. three different blood vials that has like another special grade demon or something attached to it as well. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be another big uh, plot yep, device. The, the, three, yeah. the three paintings. It sounds like I think that's like the next arc. It sounds like it's the three paintings. Yeah. yeah and i like that they also gave us the lore of like the barrier that protects those special grades i think it was like yeah. tenzin or tenjin which Ten, is like this Tengen. Like... yeah ten yeah Tengen. yeah Tengen tapa Gurumaga. yes just like that <laughs> essentially yes yes yeah. um but yeah, i'll be interesting this too i i can't help but think as well that like the main 
curse like leader guy the guy with like the x yeah like markings on his head i feel like he was a sorcerer at some point like I, a good I, like I those too. Too, yeah. yeah i'm pretty sure he's a i'm pretty sure yeah because that's that's the only way he would really know like so much about the I'm pretty school sure they, and they like, allude, kind of the workings and everything i think they alluded mm-hmm. that previously just i just can't remember oh did they but, okay or i don't know maybe i'm wrong but like it's i'm pretty sure he's, he's a, a jiu-jitsu like sorcerer and yeah just haven't explained oh. the reasons there's more yeah. reasons yet uh, sorry sorry go back to the that blonde dude like with him being a um a human junpei was kind of like the same deal right just a human but he became kind of like he, he got those powers in a in a, in a way in a sense, he, didn't, yeah. he didn't always have those powers no yeah. he, he got Mahi, Mahi to, yeah okay yeah, yeah so, so basically, face, man yeah so that, that random uh that blonde human dude he could probably like in a sense still get kind of like the same thing where he could get powers instead yeah, of just like a instead of just a sword with a hand as a hilt uh <laughs> yeah. probably yeah I also can't help but think, but I remember like one specific part where Hanabi is talking to Mahito and he's telling her like, oh, you know, I never knew how much like fun I could have doing this or something like basically in the fight that she had with Toto and Yuji and everything. So that kind of further lets me think like, okay, there's going to be a round two showdown and maybe we're finally going to get to see that solar beam domain and that's what's going to do Toto. (laughs) I'm sure. I mean, it makes sense for a shonen, so I'm I'm looking forward to it. Yep. But then again, it could easily be it, just like how it, like OP like, um, Gojo is. He could basically just finish. He could end any of these things if he wanted to <laughs> yeah. immediately. Yeah. But, but I don't really got nothing else. Uh-huh. I wonder when we'll get to see a Sukuna again. He's just kind of been chilling for a really long time. He's, yeah. And, yeah. But he don't yeah. like kind of touch on it. He's like, oh, we don't really know what Sukuna's doing anymore. Like we thought he was one way, but now we're like, I mean, huh. honestly, like. I don't like that, waiting. the one. I don't like it when they use Sukuna as like as a cop out or like just a way to save Yuji a lot of times. So, like as I'm, I'm still waiting for like Yuji yeah. to like to either gain more power or get get more control of Sukuna before we just have him just always yeah. popping out. So, or, what was or, the condition that they made like that Sukuna had made with Yuji that Yuji can't remember or whatever? I, I forget. You guys yeah. remember? It's, it, it's something with. Uh... Uh, it's something with Megumi, but I forgot like exactly what like, what was it was. Was it Megumi? I thought but, it was something else. Yeah, like... that was that was with Megumi because he saw something with Megumi that he was just like that he he wanted like the I don't know if uh, Tizzle if you're still if you can uh, clear it up for us. Um, I was gonna say it's something but, uh, I'll refer yeah, back to later. Brian Brian couldn't yeah. make it to the show tonight, so yeah, we are definitely missing him. Yeah, he he Jiu-Jitsu. is in overtime. But uh, uh, I believe it was he was allowed to take over for a minute, uh, and he won't. He promised he won't kill anyone. Yeah, well, yeah, but, but but the conditions of him coming out though, like uh, I, I swear it was something with Megumi, and I just don't remember what, what he uh, said. I think it was whenever he wants. Whenever mm-hmm. he wants was that what it was? Right. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, so yeah, so we're still kind of. I, I'm assuming. Well, I I just get the feeling like we won't see anything with Sukuna, and they're just gonna pop it out at us, and I think that's what it's gonna be like. Yeah, and to David's point, I hope it's not an instance where he pops out because it's convenient for a plot reason. Like, as this, yeah, like, right. OP That's, that's how it felt in the beginning, but I think they, they since we, we haven't seen him in a while, so it's it's nice that seeing Yuji get more control of more of his own powers. So, Definitely. So, right. I, again, uh, yeah. And and I guess, like, even even when, um, back when when uh, Mahito did, like, the domain space expansion, like, I guess that made sense, too, because, like, because they said, like, it's easier to get in and break out and then like and then technically it was like touching like sukuna's like domain too so that part made more sense so it wasn't i didn't see that as a cop out yeah yeah it's no, more i, I totally it's agree. more just the early parts where like where you just kept dying or and then getting revived by sukuna but so i don't want to see mm-hmm. i don't right. really want to see that again just re- usually yeah. just getting revived by sukuna same huh. agreed so. I think I just thought of it because I'm used to them, you know, using these type of things as a crutch so much. And it's interesting now to see a show that's not doing that, which is yeah. really good, admittedly. Yeah. Right. So shout out to Jutsu. Uh, manga is really popular. Like it's getting really high in popularity. At least, at least in Japan, because increased manga sales. Nice. Yeah. Well deserved. So it's definitely shaped up to be one of the big shonens. So. Looking forward to future installments. I think that'll be it for Jujutsu Kaisen for this week.